All right, spring is here mm -hmm. and all kinds of animals and insects are coming out of hibernation. And gee, that includes bats. I know, and you've got some around your house, you were telling me. It's National Bat Appreciation Day, and there are so many reasons to love them. Sharon and Dan Peterson join us to dispel the myths and show us how beneficial bats really are. Sharon and Dan, thanks so much for being with us. Well, thank thanks you for having, having us. Should we I be a little it. nervous? Or? <laughs> you live with them. Yes, you no, do. No, no. <laughs> now, Nothing to be nervous about. we should say your partners in life and also with with this incredible endeavor, I mean, you're edu years. yes, and get educating all of us on bats. So start off. What are the basics? What do we need to know about bats? They're about 1,400, and I heard 74 today by Dr. Merlin Tuttle. Uh, anyway, so there are a lot of bats in the world, and they make up the second largest uh, group of mammals in the world. Uh -huh. So. Okay. <laughs> Over my head there. Totally normal. <laughs> anyway, but, um, and they're very misunderstood because they are a nocturnal creature. We don't often see them yeah. as they're flying around. And uh, so we don't realize all the good they're doing for us. So basically the good things they do for us, the microbat family, Majority of them are bug eaters, and if they didn't eat all those bugs, our world would be taken over by bugs, you know? So we really need bats to eat those night flying insects. And some mm -hmm. of them are crop pests and can destroy our crops. So bats actually save us, just in the U.S. alone, over $3 billion every year wow. in pesticide usage, which is really important. So, wow. yeah. So micro bats um, can do a variety of things, or even ones that will um, eat eat fruit, pollinate, that kind of thing. There's a wide variety. There are vampire bats in the microbat family, fishing, fish eating bats in the microbat family, and even um, carnivorous bats that will eat other bats in the, in the microbat family. But the mega bats, which we have here, mm -hmm. I have the African straw color mega bat, and my husband Dan has the Egyptian fruit bat. Uh -huh. These are strictly pollinators and, um, and fruit <laughs> eaters, and then seed dispersers. So the, their big job is pollinating over 500 different plant uh, species, uh -huh. and then also um, dispersing the seeds of those. So wow. really important job that they do in the world. Yes, they do, in the, but they're around the uh, tropical areas. So you're not going to find, old, these are old world fruit bats, you're not going to find them in the Americas at all. But in the Americas, we do have um, nectar drinking bats. In fact, in the uh, desert mm -hmm. of, uh, you, you know, in, in Arizona <laughs> and uh, Utah and all, uh, Colorado and all that, all the desert areas that we have in, in the U.S., the cactuses that we have, they're night blooming. So they only can be pollinated by a night flying animal, which are bats. So there's two bats, well, three bats, actually, that pollinate so the So they're the nocturnal? Cactuses. They're only active at night? Right. Or, okay. Yeah, they fill that niche. So they're the nocturnal counterpart to, to, counterpart to birds, mm -hmm. okay? And then do the job of uh, pollination and seed dispersal. Okay. Okay. And what about the myth here. that they're blind? Ooh. Yeah, contrary to popular belief, um, <laughs> all bats have okay. eyes okay. Okay. and okay. all okay. bats can see. Now, these particular bats, also known as flying foxes, they have very large eyes. They can see as well as wow. an owl can see. So during the daytime, you would find this species roosting in a tree, and then at nighttime, they would fly off, and they would go to flowering fruit trees to pollinate the, uh, as they retrieve nectar, pollinate the uh, uh, flowers, and then they will also eat the fruit uh, from those trees. Uh, this particular species, though, they have very large eyes. They can see as well as an owl can see, but because they roost in a cave, there's about 200 old world fruit bats, 200 different species. Uh, this is the only species that can echolocate. It's a small, uh, or I should say, uh, a very simple mm -hmm. clicking of the tongue because they live in caves. So during the daytime, I don't care how big your eyes are, you can't navigate a cave uh, without right. the echolocation ability. Yeah. Now, the bats around here have a very sophisticated <laughs> a big echolocation. Wingspan. Yes. They have a very high-pitched echolocation that we can't hear. Uh, little kids can hear it, but, you know, as you uh, get older, your hearing kind of diminishes. Um, after 40 years of marriage, it's really hard to hear anything. <laughs> Uh-oh, um, watch yourself, Claire. Dan's going to be in trouble. Yeah, really <laughs> but we can, we can hear these guys echolocate. It's a simple clicking of the tongue. Well, oh, its little God. ears keep moving nonstop. Is it just, just listening. Yeah, yeah. Just listening. so yeah. cute. You can see the dog-like face he has. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy because we hear color. so, you're talking about all the great things that they do. And we all know they do great things for, for the environment, for your community. But I think the thing that scares people, too, is if you get bit, the rabies. The so any animal, and I don't care what animal it yeah. is, any animal, if you try holding on to an animal, the first instinct is to try to let go. And you saw he was zipping at me, too. They, they'll bite. That means let me go, you right. know, and that. So 
Number one, don't handle animals. Because they won't okay, bother you. If, yeah. 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 Right, right, exactly. Don't handle wild animals. That That's going to diminish that right there. Um, but if you do have a bat in your house, and let's say it's in your bedroom and you're sleeping, there's a chance that if it got on your bed and you um, it, it brushed against you, well, your natural instinct when you're sleeping, if something does that, is like to push your hand, like, you know, like yeah. get away kind of thing. And you can do it unconsciously, right? And then it could think you're hacking it, and then it could bite. So that's the only time I think that would really happen. It's, but it's not them really attacking you. It's just they're responding, you yeah, know, right? Yeah, for sure. But if you do have a bat in your room, I mean, the best thing to do, get the vaccination. I mean, it's, it has been widely used for huh. many, many years. There's no problem with it whatsoever. It's tried and true. I have the vaccination uh, because I did bat research in um, Arizona many okay. years ago now, for about 20 Five years ago now and uh, so and I've gotten the booster shots and all that too so no big deal with it but it will save your life then you know yeah. what do I do open a window if there is a bat in exactly. my room like, exactly exactly tell me how to get the bat <laughs> out of exactly. the room if you just I, I just had a lady tell me the other day when she drove into her garage a bat came in with her you know and I said well just did you, what'd you do she said I opened the garage door and let them fly out and Perfect. that's it but, you know so you open a door a window and you let them fly back out again you know okay I know well, you less than one half of one percent of all bats worldwide okay. have rabies okay. but right, uh, go back in if you think I that know. you've been bitten by one or have come yeah. in contact, err on the side of caution. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. hurt to err on the side no. of caution. All right. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Well, thank you for Bat us. day. We mm. appreciate it. For more information, you can head to incrediblebats.com. Find Dan and Sharon on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook as well at Incredible Bats. Yeah. They were very good. Yeah, they've kind of really cute. Not Dan, Dan and Sharon, you were good too, but yeah. I meant the bats. Yeah. yeah. They, they behaved very well. Yeah.